One of the things that's really important about tomorrow is that for the first time in its 120 year history, the Sierra Club is engaging in civil disobedience. I think it's a sign of how much everybody's courage has inspired the whole environmental movement to do things, and a sign of just how serious this fight over the Keystone Pipeline most of all really is. We've looked at American history, and we know that civil disobedience, when it's used thoughtfully and responsibly, has helped to achieve great things. It's helped to secure for women the right to vote. It's helped to end segregation in the U.S. And so we know that we can't win on climate change if we continue to dither, if we continue to talk about it but not do anything. And so the Sierra Club is engaging in civil disobedience for the first time because we have a moral catastrophe on our hands, and we need to do everything that we can to compel stronger, bolder action. This is a movement that is about the goodness of who we are. It's about love and justice for all. As I was thinking about taking a plane from California to come here, I thought there's no better reason for me to leave my six-month-old daughter than to make sure that the planet she inherits is better than the one that I was born into. Se puede! Se puede! We're here to remind everybody that the Keystone Pipeline has become the purest test that there's ever been of whether the president is serious about doing something about climate change or not. And if he does the right thing, it would represent an amazing turning point. It would be the kind of thing that we could hold up to the rest of the world. We are surrogates for the thousands of people who feel strongly enough about this issue to go get arrested. We have to do this because our democracy has been subverted, our laws have been subverted. It is a boondoggle of monumental proportions. I say it's criminal and I say that not lightly. I've been an attorney for 30 years challenging polluters in court. I would much prefer to be in court today. But when you have no recourse in our democracy, legally or democratically, we not only have the right, but we have the duty to break the law, to show our discontent, and to put political pressure on the president, who I know is going to do the right thing in the long run. As a nation, we can come together. This is not about Republican or Democrat. It's about humanity. And so we stand here today simply to say reject this pipeline. This pipeline is a pipeline to the end. But we need a line to the future. So we stand up now. Not because we want to be arrested, but because we have to.